The following video demonstrates that surgeons can use robotic remote presence as a single methodology to acquire a new set of surgical skills. Traditional post-residency surgical training programs that teach new procedures or techniques are offered as didactic courses assisted by live video or as on-site preceptorship programs. Consequently, the student is often required to travel to an out-of-town facility, which can be time-consuming and expensive. These constraints can be overcome by using robotic remote presence technology, which allows the user to project himself from any location and interact with the surroundings as if he were there. The system consists of a combination of robotics, proprietary video conferencing software, and wireless protocols. The six-foot-tall robot, equipped with a 15-inch flat screen, two high-resolution cameras, and a directional microphone, uses an advanced proprietary video conference system to conduct a two-way communication session with the remote console. Access to the public internet and or hospital ethernet is achieved over a G wireless network. An actual feasibility study was recently conducted to test the use of robotic remote presence for distant surgical training. The project, codenamed REACH, for robotic expertise allowing collaborative help, involved the interaction of novice surgeons and their proctor in a virtual environment to master a new surgical procedure. In this study, the REACH project was divided in two stages. During the first stage, two surgeons from Bahia Blanca, Argentina, used robotic telepresence technology to log into the operating room at Sinai Hospital and learn the specifics of laparoscopic bariatric surgery. The goal of using robotic telepresence in this setting was to provide a solution where novice surgeons can access specialized training by first using the robot to telelearn a specific procedure and then using the new knowledge and skills in the virtual presence of an expert surgeon who may provide support and guidance during the surgical procedure. The user is able to control the robot movements by using a joystick connected to a control station computer. Before the procedure took place, there was a brief discussion about the patient's clinical history, comorbidities, and postoperative strategy. Special consent was obtained by the patient prior to surgery. The presence of the robot did not interrupt the normal process flow of the operating room. Both student surgeons were able to watch live surgery from their homes in Argentina and interact with the expert surgeon in the United States in real time, ultimately acquiring the surgical knowledge necessary to meet surgical competency benchmarks for bariatric surgery. In this particular case, the visiting surgeon would learn the specifics for a laparoscopic gastric bypass and gastric sleeve. Video images were received in Argentina at 30 frames per second using the public internet. The connection was accurate enough to allow the student surgeons to recognize anatomical structures and to follow the procedure in its entirety. The system also allowed the student surgeon to record video images and pictures from the control station for later viewing. A total of 32 sessions were recorded without interruption of video or audio feed. Connectivity from Argentina to the hospital in the United States was secured through virtual private network protocols. Patient information was protected at all times by ensuring data encryption through authentication, authorization, and accounting servers. During the second phase of the study, both student surgeons were mentored during the first three bariatric cases by having an expert surgeon logging in from the United States to a robot located in Argentina. From his own home, the proctor used a similar control station loaded with similar software and equipped with a joystick to drive the robot through the operating room. Images from the robot in Argentina were broadcast at 25 frames per second. The connectivity was achieved over high-speed internet, showing a transmission latency of approximately 200 milliseconds. During the session, 
the proctor surgeon provided valuable advice while monitoring the progress of a laparoscopic gastric sleeve. The surgical team at the remote site, later on, agreed that one of the most compelling features of this technology was the sense of presence and interaction capabilities of the robot with the staff during all three procedures. Although we are living in a technology age where healthcare is often delivered via telemedicine applications, the doctor-patient relationship should still be established. As seen in this video, the patient had a chance to see and talk to the proctor who provided the patient with words of comfort from 6,000 miles away. <laughs> On the first post-operative day, the proctor used robotic remote presence to join the surgeons in Argentina to conduct bedside rounds. All patients spent the night of surgery in the intermediate care unit and then transferred to a regular floor. All patients were discharged on the second post-operative day. A brief update on the patient's condition was provided by the Chief of Intensive Care Unit who discussed with the proctor different treatment alternatives. The mentor was able to share his experience with the team to manage the patient's condition during the immediate post-operative period. During these bedside rounds, the mentor also had an opportunity to interview the patient and answer any concerns from both the patient and from the local surgeons. The REACH pilot study focused on testing the feasibility of learning a new surgical curriculum as well as gaining a new set of skills completely acquired online without the need of being physically present during the learning process. With today's technological advancements, robotic remote presence allows both the student and the teacher to virtually project themselves and reach into the operating room to teach and learn a new surgical procedure. This study shows that the REACH project has the potential to be implemented in a larger scale. Novice surgeons can choose from a pool of proctors to access post-surgical training from their homes by tapping into different robots around the world to customize their postgraduate training according to their needs. Using robotic remote presence technology as a mobile, real-time telecommunication platform, the surgical education paradigm can be changed to one where actual attendance is replaced by robotic telepresence.